There are two general ways that exterior vertical below-grade insulation boards are installed. The first is to install the insulation to the exterior of a completed below-grade wall. The second is to install the insulation as part of the soil retention and waterproofing system of a blind side installation before the below-grade walls are constructed. This is a brief overview of each system. Let's review the below-grade walls you've constructed and cured that you intend to install exterior below-grade wall insulation. It's important to make any necessary repairs before installing the waterproofing system. This will ensure a secure and long-lasting foundation for the building. When it comes to waterproofing, there are two options, a fluid-applied or self-adhered membrane. If you're using a fluid-applied membrane, the manufacturer may allow you to embed the insulation board into the wet product before it cures. Be sure to check with the waterproofing manufacturer for details. If you're not wet setting the insulation, once the waterproofing system is installed, you can adhere the insulation to the waterproofing using a compatible adhesive. The waterproofing manufacturer can provide recommendations. But before you start, be sure to complete a field test to verify chemical and adhesive compatibility between the waterproofing system and the insulation facer. To install the insulation, apply enough adhesive and vertical beads to the waterproofing. This will allow for the drainage of any water that may come between the insulation and the waterproofing. Press the insulation boards into the adhesive either vertically or horizontally, depending on the most economical pattern. To minimize cold spots or lines on the below-grade wall, make sure to install the insulation as tightly butted as possible to the adjacent pieces of the insulation board. When installing the below-grade insulation, it should be installed to the lesser of two options, the lowest floor of the interior conditioned space, or 10 feet. You can order an RMAX below-grade insulation board in 10-foot lengths for ease of installation. Here are some helpful hints to keep in mind when designing and installing below-grade insulation. Start with a building design that includes building and site drainage. This will reduce structural loads on the building, hydrostatic pressure on the insulation, and the risk of water leakage into the below-grade spaces. To aid in drainage, provide a drainage mat between the soil and the insulation. To reduce labor costs and board joints, order the insulation boards to match the prescribed required depth and install them vertically to eliminate horizontal joints. Finally, it's possible to install the boards without attaching them to the wall to save on material and labor. Coordinate the backfill to be installed at the same time as the insulation and use the weight of the backfill to hold the insulation in place. If you follow these instructions and tips, you'll be well on your way to a successful below-grade insulation installation. Good luck!